Marvel Studios has released a new Avengers Endgame trailer much sooner than we anticipated or expected and it's extremely exciting, it's really heavy on the drama and emotions and it's really light on details. They're really doing their best to keep plot details super super secret and stuff. They're mixing up shots we've already seen in the previous trailer with the new material and doing their best to reveal so little of the movie. Now it's Marvel's custom to keep things really super super secret and so we hardly see any relevant reveals concerning plot details in this movie. Doesn't take away the excitement though, so let's get to the breakdown. Trailer opens up with really dramatic flashback scenes of Iron Man, Saw and Captain America. Essentially the past 10 years of events that have affected these characters in very, very deep ways. This really emphasizes that Endgame is going to be the close up of Marvel Phase 1 to Phase 3, starting with the past and time up to the future. There are rumors that have been confirmed that time travel will be employed by the heroes in this movie, so clips from the past are well seated here. Come on, we could even have Steve Rogers taken back to his past timeline to spend the rest of his life with Peggy Carter. I so much prefer that ending to him dying on the battlefield. For the remaining Avengers who are still alive from the decimation, it is worthy to note that their grief is overwhelming. You can literally feel the sadness and all that emotion and all that grief. Now, it's really because each one of these people saw teammates, they saw their friends disappear right before their very eyes. Now only one of the Avengers had ever died before and that's Quicksilver. But even that couldn't prepare them for the devastating effect of death on their scale. Next off we see Hawkeye spending quality time with his family, presumably on his farm or home. Here he seems to be teaching his daughter archery, it could be his daughter, it could not. He's got that proud dad look in his face and I'm just imagining this to be the scene where his entire family vanishes forever. The same incident that could have driven him into taking on the darker, broodier Ronin personality. If you look closely, Hawkeye's got the house arrest band on his foot, just like Ant Man did in Ant Man vs. the Wasp. Next off, we're giving a shot of a very confused Scott Lang returning from being trapped in the quantum realm. He's tearing out a couple of missing person posters on the pole, wondering what the hell had happened to all these people. It looks like he's appeared far into the future because the house behind him is abandoned, overgrown with plants and shrubs with rusty metal objects in front of it, and that confused look on his face is one that definitely knows that something had really happened. You know, all this could have felt like him going to sleep and waking up the next day and finding out that everyone's gone, and he's sure he didn't leave the world like this before he disappeared. Next off, we see a jet, probably a queen jet, approaching New York. It could be, but it's just a speculation that Black Widow's on that Queen Jet, I don't know, maybe on a mission to save Hawkeye from pushing himself over the edge into a murderous person. It looks like it worked, seeing that he's kinda back, giving her a reassuring tap on the shoulder and stuff. Now it's worth it to note that in this scene her hair is red as opposed to the white we've seen in previous trailers and clips. That gives us an insight into the timeline and order of events chronologically because with the white hair it seems like that's the first time period after the decimation and she's still learning how to deal with the grief by pumping bullets and shooting the hell out of target practice. It's in that state of recovery where she goes and reaches out to Hawkeye in a bit to get him back on the team and get him back to his feet. Next off we get an action scene with Hawkeye running through a red tunnel with some kind of advanced new gear maybe a firing weapon of some kind and this rock raccoon and war machine both fitted with advanced new weapons and gear it's an unlikely combination an unlikely pair but it's a good pair we all know Rocket's really attractive to advanced technology. The way he was attractive to Bucky's arm, he must have told War Machine like, how much for the suit? Then War Machine could be like, it's not for sale. Then Rocket Raccoon could have been like, I'm gonna get that suit. And then he's falling around. I could really get used to seeing Rocket Raccoon upon the shoulders of War Machine just like he was on Groot's shoulder. Next we get some random shots of Captain America, Hawkeye and the Mohawk. Ant-Man and Thor, who still looks like he is in the Wakandan battleground. Now if my theory of time travel is correct and the Avengers eventually do go back in time, then there's a quite a possibility that Thor could have another chance to get at Thanos and let's hope this time he goes for the head. Here we see Nebula on some kind of battleground, I'm not sure if this is in Infinity War or this is a continuation and it seems Captain America is still on that same battleground, there's debris and fire around him 
and he looks spent tired but ready to do this all day we see ant-man use a pencil as a pole vault but i don't think ant-man is on the same battle gun because this seems to be an indoor thing now we see an audio auxiliary jack in the background so i'm not sure if these are three different battlegrounds or two it's it could all just be trailer magic so we have to wait till the movie to be sure yes we got the big reveal we got the avengers stepping out and suited up in the same pin suit that Hank Pym was suited up in the Ant-Man vs. the Wasp movie, presumably when they're about to get into the quantum realm and possibly turn back time. We got Captain America, yeah, we got Nebula, so it's possible that Tony Stark is back. We got War Machine with the same suit that was used in the Wakandan Battleground, but just that it was repainted white, red, and ash. It's quite different from the one we see Rocket Raccoon on because the lighting schemes are different. The one with Rocket Raccoon on has a bulkier design, has a bulkier frame and the arc reactor is more pentagonal as opposed to the hexagonal one used in Wakanda. So yes, we are seeing the new war machine suit in this movie. And hold up, hold up, there's Iron Man. Iron Man has been rescued. Iron Man is back to Earth. I don't know how, but Tony Stark is back in business. He could be broken, but he's back in business. Like I said, Trailer Magic, he was digitally removed from the first trailer he was removed from the first trailer we didn't see nobody there there was no iron man there so we don't know what these guys are feeding us we just we're just making predictions based on what they've given us okay so like i said it's a super super secret thing they don't with these trailers there's no trace of hulk even though we do get to see bruce banner there's no thanos we don't we're not even sure we could we, we could just wait until we watch the movie to know what's really going on so in the last part of the trailer we see thor sizing up captain marvel like she's a new girl in the team so he's just like sizing her up now we all know that captain marvel is one of the only female characters in the marvel cinematic universe that can stand up to thor's strength so as he's sizing her up he's just watching her and then he stretches out his arm and then brings stormbreaker into his hands she doesn't even burn she doesn't even blink she's She's got that cold stare in her eyes and because you're, you're really sure that this lady, uh, th this one's really, really strong. Thor's got a habit for strength measuring contests, especially we see that in Thor Ragnarok with Thor and Hulk, but I think these two are gonna really get along. So that's it for the trailer breakdown. I'm extremely excited for the Avengers Endgame movie. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, hit the like, and look out for our upcoming videos. They're gonna blow you away.